Hi guys, right, um, part of the lawn care series. Um, this garden hadn't been touched for about a year, so the grass in here was in some place nearly four foot tall. Um, so in the process of actually trying to maintain a lawn that hasn't been looked after quite a while, with that there's no point in going over with a lawn mower. Uh, what'll happen is, yes, you'll cut a load of it down. Um, a lot of low end markets, electric um, hover mowers, won't actually get much of it. Um, they'll really, really struggle with that kind of density of grass. Um, when you roll over with a mower, a lot of the grass will actually just fold over on the ground. Um, even if you cut it down a couple of levels, there's still a lot, especially if it's a little bit damp. And then in a week's time, a lot of that will ping back up with the sunshine and the rain, and suddenly you'll have grass that's about half a foot tall again immediately without it really growing much. So the best thing to do is to strim it, um, now you see the size of this garden, I strimmed it and it filled a bolt bag. So now um, there's still a lot of tap that's left from where I've actually strimmed it down. Um, and you can see there's bits of tufts here and there that were missed just because the grass was so thick. Um, at this point you want to cut it again, you don't cut it once. Uh, I'm going to start on the highest level, so stick it on seven. And because I won't, probably won't be back again for another year, I'll probably take it down to about four. I can't take it any lower because the ground's so uneven. If I took it even at four, it might be a struggle. Um, you'll start scalping the surface, and that brings on moss and weeds. So um, I'll take it down a few levels, bit at a time. But I'll show you what's like in a minute. So that's the first cut on level seven done. Um, now normally I'd actually go so when I do this garden, the stripes always go up and down. And normally if I'm bringing the level back down bit by bit, I would cut across the garden, but it's a bit narrow to do that. So what I've done to allow the stripes to be good at the end is you can see the lines are quite narrow. So what I do is I overlap by half when I'm actually cutting these and it stops any tufty bits in between. And I'll continue to do that as I drop the levels down. But where you've got the light lines, that's when I've gone that way for that dark lines where I come down I'll go the opposite way and that way you'll make sure to cut the largest volume of grass so I can push the grass back up and cut it and then it leaves with the tightest finish at the end so I'll go right through finish up all the level grades down to four and then show you what's like at the end all right so not that I'd recommend waiting a year before you get the grass but that's how you do it string first and then like you need an elephant, one slice at a time. 